Today's video is a clip from my membership site from the field.tv. This is the place that I post 95% of the content that I now make. It's all hyper detailed, no clickbait, no catchy thumbnails, no catchy titles. It is all with the intent of delivering high value information to you guys. The last 18 months of me traveling around North America, visiting experts in regenerative and sustainable agriculture, as well as some high tech farms, it's all up there. And all the videos of me developing my new farm are up at fromthefield.tv. Head over there and check it out. Hey guys, today it's a soaker totally uh, piss and rain and we were planning to head up to the farm to finish our greenhouse and plant our tomatoes in there and all that so we decided not to do that today so we're not in the mud uh, the rest of the week looks good so what we decided to do is uh, we've got a couple of us here right now Lorand is here with me and Clinton is on the way and we're going to just do all of our pre-cutting for our irrigation while we're here because we can do it in one place we're undercover and we can work together in a nice area and it's just a lot easier so let me just show you guys uh, what we're doing here right now so first of all I've set up a little jig here just set up a little uh, drip tape jig and so I've got my drip tape roll on there and just a couple uh, what do you call these things horses a frames um, and just put some <laughs> scrap wood together with a piece of metal in here just so this rolls and then one guy uh, we, it'll be really quick if we do it as a two-man job because I've got a measuring tape on the ground and we're cutting 51 foot pieces. I like to do them just a little bit longer than the bed. I've got 50, 50 foot beds. Uh, that way it just gives me some options in case basically. So basically what we'll do is have just one guy um, stand here while the other guy takes the piece, rolls it down to the 51 foot mark at the end of that tape. And then this guy just stays here and cuts it. And then he could basically start walking while the other guy comes back and does the same thing. So we could just kind of swap over back and forth. We've got 144 pieces of those to cut. And then in the greenhouse, Lorand and I are right now just cutting pieces and assembling um, headers for the drip. So uh, there's Lorand, and he is basically just cutting up all the pieces to make our drip headers. And then right now I'm putting together the uh, posts for our wobbler units. So I've got a piece of poly to cut there, and then I'm starting to assemble our heads. I just put Teflon tape on all these guys, and now I'm just assembling that. That's the top of my wobbler unit, so that's gonna go in uh, the pipe. And then I've got some uh, shrink tubing here, one and a half inch shrink tubing that I'm using to fasten it to the post. And so I'm using a heat gun right here and um, do one shrink tube there and then one on the bottom. And, and maybe I'll do three. I'll see how much I have. If I have enough, I'll just do three. And then, uh, yeah, three on the post. And then they go. these will go into the ground about 16 inches. I decided to make them five foot posts just because um, it comes in 10 foot lengths and to make a four foot post would have just wasted material. So I'm gonna do uh, five. And basically that's what we're doing right now. So basically, Lorand and I um, just had stations across from each other and just chipped away at putting together all of this irrigation stuff. Lorand, uh, we had Clinton come in for a little bit here, but uh, uh, mostly Lorand uh, basically worked on assembling those drip headers. I showed you guys uh, that in the past. And uh, he had 60 of them to do, so it was a lot of cutting and a lot of uh, putting together those little uh, poly lock pieces. And uh, myself, I worked on all of the um, overhead irrigation, our uh, mini wobbler systems. And um, you know what I what I did beforehand here was basically just cut all of those pieces of poly. I believe they were uh, about four, about three and a half feet long. Um, these uh, these um, posts are five feet long, uh, which is a little longer than what people would mostly do, but we bought it in 10 foot pieces. So I just had the guys cut it in half. And uh, that means I can drive it in the ground about 18 inches and uh, and then still have uh, about um, three and a half feet out of the ground, which is plenty. I'm uh, actually, when I, I, when I was first starting to do them, I was just 
using the uh, shrink tube. It's that stuff that uh, you can see me putting on the outside of the, the post or, or just slipping over the post there. Um, and uh, it was hard because of the poly is so naturally kinked. It, it, it's kind of curved. So I just started to, at first, put some tape on there just to hold it in place. And then I put the uh, shrink tube on and then basically just did that um, first, did all of those. Then uh, later on, then I did all of the heat gunning, uh, the, the heat gun work to melt, to uh, shrink the shrink tube back to hold the uh, tube onto the post. So the tape was just there basically just to hold, hold it in place uh, for the time being. Then the shrink tube goes in. So don't really plan on the tape uh being anything to hold it up uh, with over time, uh, but the shrink tube certainly will because it's a nice thick rubber type product. Um, yeah, I'm using scotch tape there. It's all I had. So uh, it worked to hold it in place. Sure, I would have preferred like a black duct tape or something like that, but uh, it worked. And then the shrink tube took over from there. So that's basically uh, all we did for this day. This was a good, uh, a good session. And we didn't actually get our... Um, poly tape cut but we will do that the next morning so we got all of our headers made and all of our wobbler posts and um that's all we got done so that took uh three four hours or just under four hours me mostly Lorand and i and clinton showed up uh for about an hour um so a big job and we actually didn't we didn't actually get this done at all but I'll do that tomorrow morning with Clinton. And this is quite a fast job because with two guys going back and forth, you're just rolling and cutting, rolling and cutting, rolling and cutting. So it, we probably get it done in an hour. So uh, that's the sign that I got to go. Mm -hmm.